So it's like, huh. <laughs> so it was the slightest amount. There, you happy? Stupid place. Alright. So now the first thing I need to do is set down a quick quick set of track. Holy shit, I've been here before. I remember this. Place ah! a tunnel bore, which is massive. Uh oh, oh crap, cool. I forgot I need a tunnel bore head. Alright, so I put the gravel into ballast, because what it'll do is when it goes over a gap or lava or something, it'll throw down gravel and then build over it. Give it some tracks, it'll auto place those. I don't think those. I've ever seen this place ever go night. Uh, the toilet? It stays twilight forever. That's why it's stays twilight. stays twilight forever. Yep. And on that, you can trust me. Uh, What did I need? I need a... Uh... Chris, what the hell did you do this to the, home to the motherland? What? Diamond, is little holes too everywhere. Much. There's never such thing as too much. Oh, you, what under the uh, books? Um, yeah. Uh, that was just a small mining thing I did. I used um, the magnets I got, which didn't do really much of anything for me. But uh, no matter. I don't really need to see if it's dark or not anymore. Yeah. I don't even know what the hell. Are you patching up with dirt? Oh, excellent. Yeah. Hold on, I'm loading fragments. Loading the land. Yeah, chunk loading is I see fun. Mona Lisa! Mona Lisa! I didn't even see you, friend. <laughs> didn't even run to your face. It's quite, uh, quite mean of you. Alright, so I need a diamond block. Because we're billionaires. I could always go down there. Steel. Oh, fuck, Chris. What? So what do you think you're talking about? So everything was balanced, and then your butt came by. And what do you mean balanced? There weren't holes in everything. Look, the last time I saw you went around flattening the world and taking whatever was in your way. Duh, because that's how you flatten the world. <laughs> yeah, but you destroyed pillars that we needed to shut up. I replaced them. You didn't replace I crap, replaced I replaced them, the them, you bastard. I replaced them with the government allowance. You didn't replace nothing. Like these. My foot. That's what I say. I should have probably built that before I left, but oh well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh yeah, um. Hey, sheep. Bye, sheep. Oh yeah, the other. Wang. Buffalo wangs. Oh, yeah, it's buffalo wang. Buffalo. Yeah. Pip and I, I felt like that was oh. going to cause fall damage because I forgot I was immortal. I forgot what home looked like for a moment. Look at the cactuses. They grew up really well. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they, they grew up so fast. Oh my gosh. They've been, while well, you've been gone, abandoning them. Oh my god, They look so perfect. I could just hug them. Alright, now if I can remember how to do this. Um, it no heart. Right oh click. my god! Right I click. can hug these no. things all day. Get back on the track and eat this turkey. Shift right click. Shift right click. Okay, there you go. Now those are linked to each other and they'll act like a train. So then I put another one right here. Shift, shift. Now it's connected. And then what I do is I put this to here. Throw in some coal. That should start working. And now what it'll do is it'll usually eject items onto the ground, but because there's a chest here, <laughs> it'll collect the items. Yeah, you eject them. What the hell is this thing? Oh yeah, it's a chunk of <laughs> It's a lovely know. machine. Very simple. What the hell are you doing, Eric? You freaking look at this. This Rubik's cube cubes taking over our basement now. And I'll just put this here, and this will keep the world's chunks loaded here. Cost an Ender Pearl, twelve hours of loading. Interesting, but I don't care. And that'll just mine in that direction for all of eternity. Yeah, yeah. I'll come back when I give a crap. I don't know if the I don't think the tunnel bore keeps chunks loaded itself like a quarry does. You have to have a chunk loader behind it. Yeah. Although I wonder what mod it's from that chunk loader. I think it's chicken chunks. I've actually been <laughs> I've been incorrect about the chunk loader because I've been putting down like 
industrial craft or something like that, I think. But Chris, we need to start I making didn't know. some. I oh, didn't I know. Apparently, I didn't, I, I, didn't, I didn't know that quartz was used in watches. I thought it was just always battery powered. I didn't know that quartz was powered by the battery. What is quartz exactly? I did, like, what's the real world quartz? I'm it's not a really sure. It's a crystal. Huh. So it's and it's a small one inside every watch. Unless Does it it's, store power or something? Uh, it it's used. It's sort of like a or repeater. Transfer. It's, it's equivalent to a repeater. Is it's, it's similar to like silicon and lines and whatnot? No, 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 on, no, like, no, no, no. Chips. It, it's a it's a mathematical. I think it's silicon actually. It, it is a really old-fashioned manner of keeping time, but modern, if that makes sense. Instead of having it digital, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? It's sort of like... Uh, yeah, we have an analog one. All right, come over here. Which is, of course, come with over. hands. Come over here, Chris. Uh, you made me push F1. How could you? All right, where? Over here. Over here. Over here. I want to do a visual... Yes. All right. Imagine that this item right here, uh, yes. before I break it... Don't break it. ...is Why a crystal, right? But then when power is given to it... It starts ticking, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's what a cri- that's what a quartz crystal does. So what it vibrates as there's power put into it? Yes. Huh. And that's how it keeps its time. Oh, is it like a is it like a switch where it goes left and right as it receives power, kind of like a magnet? I don't know you, uh... exactly how the quartz crystal interacts within a watch. I don't think like, it has movement. I was I was, I was I reminded just... of like a magnet toy that you would have that would uh as as it would pull away, it would get power so it would become a magnet, and it would connect to it, and as soon as it made contact, it would lose its charge, and then become non-conductive again. Well, considering that quartz is used for sport watches, and just generally watches in general, hmm. except for, uh, di- uh... Now, what, what about waterproof sport? ones? Do waterproof... Is there, like, any sort of... It's probably just sealing, actually, in that case. Never yeah, mind. it's just sealed. It's, uh, se- it's just sealed really well. But I think it's just the yeah, fact that so... the current inside the crystal is bounced around in an orderly manner, if that makes sense. Yeah. It, it's all about timing of power input. And then so you don't have to that. worry about the computer bowing things over. I'm just put extra torches on him. <laughs> okay. When is it ever a tree? It's never a tree. Oh, look, it's rock. What are the odds of that one? Yeah, stone golem. I need clay. <laughs> God dang it. Because uh, cause I found out that clay, it. what clay does is it actually removes from one chest to another chest. So that's why... We need, Chris, why you, do we only have six you? lava generators? Why not cover up the other three bays that... I want to uh, build the computer crafter first. Okay. Which is actually quite close to completion, as you've noticed, I, probably, I would hope, that I've we, shrunk it down a little bit. Um, why is there a bed you in do there? Know it's, uh, you, 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 you know there's no power down here, right? Yeah, because it's not connected to that thing. Uh, okay. If I connect it, it'll kill our power. I, I'm gonna do something that should potentially help, but okay. If you need to use any, there's there's some still in there. Okay. <laughs> That's some. That's twenty nine k. I'll kill you. Twenty nine k is not bad. Twenty nine k. Oh no, that's terrible. <laughs> I've got an energy crystal with a uh, hundred k in it. I'll throw it in there and it'll power it. My my method is to use energy crystals to charge it back up without killing our system. Because if I plug it in, our system's going down. And? And we won't be able to use uh, interdimensional baggage anymore. We won't be able to interact with our storage. And it'll probably take like freaking half an hour to finish charging or something. So we won't be able to use our own storage system for half an hour. Hmm. So that's like an entire episode where we just don't do anything because we can't do anything. Oh, uh, so, uh, <laughs> just running back and forth. I think we've had an episode like that somehow. <laughs> well, we have 15, 16 quarts. It's never enough quarts. Okay, um... Yeah. You know, uh, have you, yeah. have you heard about uh, Wii U having, uh, what is it? Oh, the Mario Kart having a free downloadable game? Oh, yes, you, you notified me about that. Yes. Uh, I, I bought a Wii U. <laughs> you have a Wii U? <laughs> yes, I bought a Wii U Deluxe set, oh, Mario snap. Kart 8. It came with Mario Kart 8, oh, which, of course, snap. gives me free Pikmin 3, which I love. It, there's other downloadables available. Um, 
and I've got a Wii U. Uh, which is actually, it's not that bad. It yeah, took I'm... me two hours to set it up, because God only knows. Yeah. But, you, you know, it punch, once you're past the bureaucratic, you know, sign-up stuff and all that <laughs> crap, then you actually get to do stuff with the system. Yeah. But I'm at that point where it's just like, I don't know. As well as I don't have a screen protector, so I'm kind of skeptical of actually using it all that much. Oh, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. It's, uh, <laughs> it, it, it's durable. It's I know it's durable. durable. It's just you're not like you're not like uh, you're not like I'm not the like, family, and like they they are they are rigorous with that thing. And yeah, it's just I, I gotta be I just I gotta be careful that I don't like put too much pressure. With you don't want to be that guy that's like I know it's durable, and then somehow you scratch it, and you're like, how yeah. did this happen? I don't, yeah. How does why me? <laughs> why oh, there's me? sixteen quarts in here. Uh, could it increase our storage? Or I could finish this device. <laughs> like I wanted to get a Wii U for the fact that like the new Super Smash Bros. is coming out. But then at the same time, I was like, oh, "What do you want to waste the money?" It's a lot for of money. Game. It is. I spent three hundred and thirty dollars for this box. But I mean, I got two sixty-dollar games basically. Yeah. One that was included in the set, which reduced the price down to two seventy for the actual console. And it's the deluxe console. It's not a normal one. It's the highest console. Which means what? It's got 32 oh, uh, gigabytes. Yeah, gigabytes. For all the games. So I mean, it, it's not it's not a bad deal. It's a good setup. It, it's interesting too because I usually don't get Nintendo stuff. Like after GameCube, I haven't touched Nintendo stuff. Oh, well, don't worry, you didn't miss anything. In that I know, I know, <laughs> I know, no one did. <laughs> But it's one of those things. It's like it's kind of interesting. I, I filled out a survey on their uh, site to get like ten uh, coins. Don't I don't know what they're for. They're like some sort of special hey, Chris, reward thing, you know? Chris, where's my not wrong. enough items? Uh, did you push O by chance? Oh, yes. Yeah, that hides it. If you're uh, deselected, just O. It's like yes, it could be beautiful and viewer friendly. I've heard people hate this UI on the side, but I'm thinking to myself. <laughs> It's a search engine of using it 24-7. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to just turn it off and live my life like that. I can't live that lie, guys. Can't do that. I forget everything I've done and what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, some video events. Events. My entire life became meaningless for about five seconds there. ME cable. Uh, it's not going to be very... Uh, and fuck, Chris! You took my cell. <laughs> what? My what energy cell. What energy cell? Oh, what? What? You put an energy cell in there? No, I had one for the mining laser, and then you took it. <laughs> oh, that yeah. You don't need it to be charged. Was it charged by chance? Yeah, it was charged. I don't think you need it to be charged. Well, I don't it doesn't need matter. it to be charged, but freaking it, wait, it didn't consume it. No, it did it okay, not I'm consumed. Fine. I'm, fine. I'm just using them for a. Uh, Battery power I'm from fine, A to B. Because I thought it consumed it. No, no. Like, no. It's uh, consumed if you use it in a recipe, which I didn't do. Okay. Uh, <coughs> um, so I need to make quartz dust. Wait, we probably have some in there. Um, oh, yeah. Freaking. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll be making some quartz dust. Oh, well. <laughs> It's like, I could make more of those heat generators, but uh I'm not as inclined to do that. <laughs> I'd rather just have it automated, even though I could do that right now and it really wouldn't be all that hard. I'm just slightly lazy. I'm like, if I can have a computer do it for me, I don't know why I would. It's just like going outside. <laughs> Chris, did you, did, you, did, you, did you take my copper plates? I swear to God, do I have to beat you? No, I didn't take your copper plates. You didn't make copper plates, did you? Yes, did, I did. Did you use the plate bender? Yeah, and then I went ahead and uh, traded them co dense copper plates. Alright, I don't know where they're at. Uh, anyway, take uh, shit. <laughs> I don't remember when... Well, no, you probably didn't do that during the crash, so I don't know. Crash of 1912. So what few happened? survivors. You know what? what? I'm going to look up what happened in 1912 now. I was just messing with you, but <laughs> if there's something actually that happened, then there's I'm something really like good crashed. at this. <laughs> it was before like... they were in 20, so let's see what happened. Let's see what happened that day. 
Holy shit. What, what did I say it was again? I don't remember the number. 1912. 1912? I think I've heard that somewhere. <laughs> you don't might be. It was the Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Not really. It happened a long time ago. <laughs> Alright. Are there people that still, like, have connections to the people of of that? Like, I don't know. That was over a, a century ago. ago. <laughs> hey, there are people that are that old. <laughs> I know that, but there's, there's not too many of them. No, there aren't. Which is why, uh... I don't know. Holy shit. Alright, so, that's most of it. Now, now let's we just see, need uh, let's to see, get a few June more things second, here. June... <laughs> Well, okay, the only thing that happened in June is the Nova Trump Volcano experience for the E6 eruption. So pretty much as a volcano erupted. That's pretty lame. Yeah, in June. Did it kill anyone? Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's not lame if it killed someone. That's, if it was just like harsh. a volcano erupted and everyone was completely fine. Let's see. Uh, it's like, well, that's kind of... The eruption 1912 of Nova Erupta. <laughs> Nova Erupta. <laughs> Wait, that's it. Also, it's one of those things. It's like, you get bragging rights if you were killed by an erupting volcano. How many people get killed like that? Yeah, that's the name of the volcano. Nova <laughs> Erupta. <laughs> Within, uh, let's see, a series of violent eruptions from the original Nova Erupta volcano rated at a 6 of the Volcanic Explosive Index and a 60 hour long eruption, expelling 13 to 15 cubic kilometers, 31, wait, 3.1 to 3.6 cubic miles of magma, 30 times as much as 1980 eruption at Mount St. Helens. The eruption, the erupted magma of, oh, uh, <clears throat> resulted in more than 17 cubic me meters of air, airfall tuff and approximately 11 cubic kilometers of ash flow tuff. Only in 1991, erupt of Mount Pinatubo, Pinatubo. In so the Philippines was of similar magnitude with during the century ejected eleven kilo yeah, wait, what? Is it just is No it just one me died. Or... <laughs> no <laughs> I was just like, is it just me or is it kinda of odd that we're having a history lesson in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> About volcanoes. That's what research is supposed to be, kids. That's what you're supposed to do. Exactly. You Randomly question, question something and then research it. And don't go to Wikipedia for the love of... Well, you can glance it, but don't think that it's going to help you. Don't don't believe it. As as the saying goes, take everything with a grain of salt. <laughs> Reference and, and at least it. like four different web pages. If they all say the same thing, you're probably safe. That or you went to very bad sites consistently. Or as they say when signing a contract, trust it, but confirm it. <laughs> yeah. Ah, super speed. Alright, so now I need some more quartz, silicon. Look at that, Chris. It's never enough. Fuck, I can't hit you. I don't know why you would be holding that. That's very dangerous to hold that. How is it dangerous to hold it? I swear <laughs> to God, you're gonna. I'm. I'm certain you're gonna lose yours quicker than anything. I don't understand where I can put it. I want to put it inside the ender chest, but I know it's ender chest, so I can. Kind of what the it. the charm? Yes. Don't. You're don't supposed to hold on to it all the time. Yes, I know this, but I don't want it with me all the time. Well, if you're going to store it, you can put it in the chest. I'm keeping mine on me 24-7. I'm indestructible. As well as that I also have this indestructible thing. <laughs> I don't know what it is with you and like dying on so many of our series. Huh. I, I guess I just play it way more cautious. What's a charmer life again? It's basically the same thing yes. as as the charm of keeping, I guess. Uh, except that it's all life rather than... It's the same thing. Never mind. <laughs> what, what's the difference between life and <laughs> Because basically it's a one-up versus inventory holding. Oh, so in other words, when I get slain on the spot, I revive, basically. Yeah. And then, I think. then keep... Okay. I mean, and I then, could be wrong. I didn't look at it too much. 
then the inventory, inventory <coughs> keeper just pretty much says you go back to your bed, but you have everything. Actually, I don't know if you do go back to your bed. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I guess you would, maybe. Yeah, yeah, you would. Torch uh, berries! Do you have any more quartz? I need quartz. I should start up the quarry, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, landmarks. Wild deer. <laughs> We've got, like, two different mines going at the same time, so I'm, like, <laughs> trying to, like, multitask this in my head. Wait, we have tomatoes. Tomatoes are useless. Fuck, we don't have mushrooms. Just like you. Oh, the cheese. We need to celebrate with some fucking pizza. Oh yeah, thirteen. We have to go to some divine RPG places for that. We we still haven't even ventured into divine RPG at all. Yeah. Um. Where where do we go for that? Well, I, I we can start it, but I I don't know if we want to start it just yet. Maybe after we get some more work done, because we yeah, want to try to get the yeah. server to a point where it can run on its own. And until we get better storage, more quartz, and uh. That golem, we don't really have the ability to do that. So is this thing that makes titanium or helium cells? Which one is it? Both? Uh, titanium. With enough power, mind you, you have to be careful, because that thing does consume a lot of power. And if you run out midway, it will reset. All of it, or just the one it's working on? Uh, the one it's working on. If it's finished, it's finished. Fourth. You never know. Interesting. Interesting. I should probably... There you go. <laughs> Alright, so what can I help to make sure that I can get this titanium faster? Um, I need to turn this off. What? What can I do to get this titanium faster? <sighs> Depends. What step are you on so far? Um, zero. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So you're just starting. Which means I need power, which at the current moment, power is down. So I'm yeah, going to suggest pretty bad. that we um, need to get our power to the equivalent to a Super Saiyan, just running everything on a hamster wheel for us. Yeah, to an extent, but it, it's also that it consumes power. We need something to buffer the power to it, no matter what. Even if we get a really good system, we need a battery box specifically built for it. Look for a spot to put that thing, all right? But, what? Look for somewhere that you think is a good spot for us to put, like, an underground bunker for it or whatever. Because they're going to have a lot of machines that are, like, 3 by 3 by, I think the highest is, like, 4. Alright? So, look for an area that's a reasonable spot for an area that's, like, probably maybe, like, a 10 by 5 tall. 10 by 5. For what? Because cause that way we can store all the machines we make for Greg Tech in there. That should be able to hold quite a few of them. Now, do we want it a part of the base? It, it will connect to the base's power line. So, try to keep that in mind. Because the more that we go out, the more it costs. Because we're using diamond cables, and then we get four each time we craft one. And it uses a diamond, two redstone, six glass. Um, hmm. So, it's a little bit expensive, but... It really is income. It's a little bit expensive. Because it uses diamonds. Diamonds are still technically... Dan what in God's name? Turn you off and you're all red still. Okay, I'm gonna just... So are all these machines connectable and usable in one block? Close or are they have, or do they have to be in a specific manner? What do you mean? Well, like, the, <laughs> the, the blast furnace... It, it's yeah. in... You know, it, it's box that I use to actually use a blast furnace with. It's actually, you know... It's off to the side of it. Can it be placed anywhere near the block? I'm sorry, what? I'm, I, I was, I'm sorry, what? The, the, the HUD in which I actually, you know, interact with the blast furnace is mm -hmm. on the bottom yes. row of this uh, rectangle. Yes. Now, can it be placed anywhere, or does it have to actually be on the it bottom? It has to be there. Okay, <laughs> see, now Now, that's... don't break that machine. Do not touch the machine. I'm, Just I'm not look touching. for a place. <laughs> Just don't do that, because that would be very bad. <laughs> Because if so, it's like, all right, we have the obelisk that's going to be placed there. We're going to have a... There's a few different <laughs> designs and whatnot. <clears throat> but if you can find, like, a good spot for... I like how the obelisk is, like, directly in front of the front door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever. 
to get as much worth out of these things as I can. Found a bunch of quartz here. I can get some dust and uh, <coughs> other things. Oh my god, I'm underwater. So this is going to be fun. Yes. So, I mean, if you can find a spot for that, it would be, it'd be great. Like, I, I don't know how we're going to design it, too. Like, I know there's going to be an underground box, but the thing is, like, how will we access it? What kind of design on the surface will it have? Will it be, like, a tunnel into it or something? I was, you know, about, I'm not to, sure. I was about to just put it in the back of the house, underground. I mean, we mind you, we only keep this slightly distance from the house so it doesn't cause more lag. I, oh, so then the we thing just is, have... with all these machines and whatnot, is that uh, they they can really lag the system if there's enough of machines. Because we we've already got four different mods in that area, all right, and we're already experiencing some weird spikes in places <laughs> as we walk from A to B. I don't know why. I'm not going to question it too much because God only knows. So I mean, we we just got to be very careful that we don't start building everything in that one spot. Because my tower runs at 14 frames, and that's just normal. Okay, so I was thinking about having it back, and uh, you know, exit the back of the house, right? Yeah. I mean, if it's like a, if it's like a chunk or two away from uh, that's no, I'm never what's gonna a, get that. What's a chunk? If you push F9 twice, you should have a green squares coming down from the sky. Oh, yeah. And uh, the four red corners, that area inside is a chunk. So all that green mesh around you, you're inside of a chunk, probably. Oh, okay. I can make this happen. Yeah, so if you can just keep an eye on like a few chunks away, you'll probably be able to... Because cause the idea is you get out a little bit and then you unload some areas a little. Of course, there is the issue with it always being loaded. Look, <laughs> it doesn't matter. But... I suppose the idea is that when we're away from it, that the uh, those massive machines in there won't really be as effective on us, because they won't be needing to run or something. Okay. I don't know. Just distance is good. Distance is our friend. Just, just, get, just get it the hell out of it. I can do that. Oh yeah. Like start building and pave it up and whatnot, and then we'll be. Oh, I should. Just it'll be underground, and we'll just be northbound. And then we could just have our own now. Uh, yeah. Broke my legs. Alright. Um. It's going to. We should have like a secret door <laughs> on this. Like a glass. You know? <laughs> Leave it like. Down. Why does it feel like this didn't go anywhere while I was gone? We should leave it like. Uh, hmm. Like Intel's super base, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like how it, Wait, no. how it's a clean room and everything. Should do that. Yeah. <laughs> Chunk water. Hmm. It's it'll just be like white. You have to light white white lights everywhere. <laughs> just go to like the the nuclear bunker of explosive <laughs> engineering devices. <laughs> I like the idea of that. Eventually, we'll have a nuclear powered plant, too. Okay. That's gonna. I, I want to make it kind of like the nuclear silo that I got. Because that was kind of a nice design, do you think? Nuclear silo. Remember that silo I had in my backyard that we walked into and then you blew up the front door? Yes, I remember that fondly. 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 <laughs> I don't know, did it, look, <laughs> did it look like a power plant? I don't remember if I asked. I don't, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think it does. What? I don't remember it either, so... <laughs> it was a nuclear silo. It was, I remember the nuclear silo. It's pretty hard silo. to forget. When I think nuclear silo, I'm thinking, like, th those in the ground. You know, uh, that open up. I, I think I know what you're talking about. To missile warheads, those are the nuclear silos. Oh, that I think not of. those ones. No, that's, that's different. That's a different... That's a different nuke. <laughs> <laughs> So you understand? I'm like, I don't know. So that's uh, one. What What is the other word for them then? If they're not just silos, I think there's something else. No, I don't want to risk it because like, the enchanting table is in its own chunk, so it's better to go here. I'm sorry. What's going on with the enchanting table? Oh no, just looking at the chunks that they're in because it's like, it'll be two chunks on. 
So next area. You'll have it. Oh, wait, hold on a second. You're just punching a hole in the wall? Well, I guess that works. Yeah, sure. I, I don't know. I, I, for a moment, I just OCD'd really hard. <laughs> 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 I was just like, even this, wrong now. Help. <laughs>